Greetings, YouTube! You know, I heard for several years that Angela at rank 4 was enough. And that's true, technically. Same with Archangel and other champs, even Thighs, aka Black Widow, Deadly Origin. You know, a lot of champs don't change that much in terms of attack and health, at least not a, a noticeable amount from rank 4 to rank 5. But Angela, like a lot of those champs, if you use her and you like her, why not? I have already gone through the first fight off camera. I lost a lot of health with Gallon because, quite honestly, I fought terribly against uh, Guardian. And I just want to admit that <laughs> on camera, first thing. But we're going to activate Odin's three pre-fights. And we're going to remind ourselves of the Thronebreaker final chapter. And by the way, I also have brought in my Havoc for the final boss cheese. So this Angela video basically deals with everything but the boss. And keep in mind that this is one of those pumping iron where if you don't have uh, the cosmic grade of a total of three fury, armor up, and precision buffs, you don't um, actually cause much damage. And so this defender takes 60% less damage while the attacker has no buffs on them. For each buff the attacker has active, the damage reduction is decreased by 20% until it reaches zero. So you really want at least three buffs on at all times. And Angela does just that. I am going to hide my webcam, which for those of you who don't like my face, it's always a gift. Start off with the Perry Heavy to get her utility, as I always like to say, taken care of. What I don't like is how easily Guillotine 2099 fires um, specials, especially special ones. Although, man, that was interesting. Okay, here is the fun. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see the madness? 15,000? 27,000? This is going to start feeling almost like uh, raids. And then... She's gone. Just a really relaxing, easy fight. And it gets even easier, depending on the defenders. But, you know, Prowler, 66,100 rated. Kind of, uh... Kind of annoying to fight, I think. Not enough that he would be a quality defender in Battlegrounds. At least I don't think so. But you see, it starts off, before we get these buffs, pretty low damage. And then all of a sudden, it just gets kind of crazy. I'm also not used to Prowler's animations yet. That was such a long special one. All right, let's let's just count that. One, two, three, four. Okay, it was four. Seton actually taught me that years ago. He would count Civil Warriors animations. And I always thought that was really smart. And I appreciated that he was very transparent about his process fighting champs. Now, again, Prowler's kind of kicking my tail. Look at this special three, though. 41%. That did 39% damage, and then that finished him off. So, I'm not really stressed. Not the best fight. But this is why I took Angela to rank five. Angela is so much better at rank five, especially in incursions. But it's fights like this, where the odin Gallon pre-fight synergy... Which, I don't know about you watching this, but I have perfected that in Incursions. Those first 15 hits or so, you're kind of just building up the buffs. But then when the crits start, like right now, it just becomes so much fun. And you just got to make sure you don't push them to a special 3. Because otherwise, it's just a very relaxing, easy fight where you're doing Corvus-level crits. 36,000 by the end. I mean, that's 7-star rank 3 Corvus numbers right now. Which is absolutely incredible.
I always like to hold heavy against Kate because you never want to parry her with that reflective stun. I also like to just block her special one. Oh, but I don't like to miss intercepts. All right, y'all. We're going to Allison edits ourselves. We're backed up health-wise. There we go. Now we landed something. Yeah. Hold block. Oh, God. Special three. Is the special three going to save us? Look at how much damage this is doing. Again, that was crazy amounts of damage. But the cold snap did knock me out. So, look. I could... Uh, I want to show you all, by the way. I, I always have so many revives that are expiring because I don't use them that I kind of like it when those moments happen. Like, I need to use these two revives and, for that matter, that energy refill before it expires in seven hours. So, I have learned to kind of embrace using a revive every once in a while because it just expires anyway. At least when you've got my inventory that I've got. So, you might as well use some of these health potions that are also just going to go away. Now, I am not using Recoil Masteries. That would help even more. But I'm keeping my Mastery set up for raids without those. Now, we're at the final boss, so who knows? Maybe I should just switch it back anyway. But I wanted to try this without it. This would be an even more impressive setup with that mastery setup. Hold block, counter. She gone. That's what I should have done the whole time. But you know, just didn't play well. No one's fault but my own. Sometimes talking into a microphone and playing is not as easy as it looks. All right, let's test this out. Because I haven't done this fight yet. Let's just dance, shall we? Oh, I start out stunned? Wow, well... I got most of that done before I lost my footing. I think I'm going to finish this fight off camera because it's going to be a lot of dancing and have nothing to do with Angela for the most part. Well, actually, you know what? Let's just bring Angela into the fold and just see what happens to start off. Not the best damage. But it's serviceable. Definitely think I'm going to bring in... Oh, that's good damage. Okay. Definitely reminds me of a Black Widow. Ooh, I don't know. This damage is getting pretty good. Really good, actually. Way better than I thought it would be. I'm glad I recorded this. We're just going to hold... I just like holding block. When I want to counter, I just hold block. And that's the secret to winning so many fights in this game. Just hold block. You can just be standing in the middle of a screen. Just hold block. The defender's like, what? They're in a defensive mode? I better wake them up. Well, yeah. Yeah, you better. And that was the first time I did that throne breaker completion. And so you will see those path rewards. Well, I used uh, one revive in this video. But I could have maybe used even more had I not taken Angela to rank five so in a way it just kind of showcased why I did that and uh yeah I I appreciate that so y'all thank you so much for watching and uh hopefully you join this video Angela is the best